All right, guys, welcome back. I haven't been doing much lately. Winter kind of sucks and, eh, you know, depression. You never win with it. <clears throat> I picked this up recently. I traded the 1985 Eurosport for it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I've had it with celebrities. I've had enough of them. I fixed up enough of them for people, and now nah, I'm just done with them. So I traded this with a friend out in Iowa who thus picked this up from Missouri. It had been for sale for a while. All this was painted, this really shitty silver. And uh, it had some really hokey pokey mirrors on it. And the interior was just trashed. I've brought the interior back <laughs> a lot. This, all this interior here is actually out of my 84 wagon, which I've never shown before. This is all Pontiac stuff. I'm having problems with the computers, so that's what's going on right now. As you can see, I got the one down there right now. Yeah, that's out of my sedan, and that's the only way this car will run. Oh, this car was a huge mess when I got it. But as you see, it runs and drives now. I believe I'm the first person to successfully get it running, all things considered. Still not sure how I feel about the S10 bumper. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Because if I have to, if I want, if I'm going to replace it, I'm going to have to replace everything. Because they shaved the entire front of the Cavalier bumper off to mount that directly to the brace. So that is literally permanent right now. I have the missing hubcaps. The wing windows kind of work, but they need to be lubricated. And all in all, it just really, really, really needs to be put back together. Underneath here, it's all right. Salty right now, but yeah, whatever. It's winter here. I don't care. I'll wash it. Somebody put new floors in it, which is strange. I don't really understand why, because the car is super clean otherwise, but eh, you never know. Oh, there we go. and drives pretty good. I readjusted the transmission so it'll stay in years longer. There she goes. A little abrupt, but eh. I can live with that. Listen to that break. Crunchy. That's something I'll have to work on later. Guys, I have no idea what my plans with this car are. I'm just, you know, going for a little top-down action in January. And I'm, oh, this is an unnatural position for my arm, guys. All right, we're back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that rotor's hot garbage. But, yeah, it's got an 82 Cimarron cluster in it because... The uh, one that it had in it was non-functional, and I didn't feel like fixing it. This directly fit. And the check engine light's a choke light now, so it really throws people off. Got the wipers working. Honestly, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's, it's a decent driving car now. Carpet's out of the wagon. The console's out of the wagon. The radio came out of my 86 originally. It just, it, it works. It does the 
job. So, all right. My dictation of this car actually running is going to be on uh, whether I can find an ECU or not for 86. It lines up as well as that one with this drive train. So, all righty, guys. Catch you later. There's going to be a bunch of just clips here thrown together. I still have no idea how to really make videos, but I have recorded a bunch of the repair process. So I'm just going to put it in a montage with this for you guys. So you can get to know my 84, 85, 86 Chevy Cavalier. Since, uh, more or less, it's like five cars at this point. So, all right guys, stay tuned. Enjoy. Oh, good lord. Oh, it's covered in salt. Wow, it's pure salt. Holy crap. <laughs> it was bad. I mean, it, it, from once I got to about where I took that picture mm -hmm. of the red stop, that's like right outside of Iowa City. Damn. I took that picture and then uh, Oh my god. It's just completely covered. This poor this poor thing. I got the hose running, so I'm gonna hose it off. Oh that's fine. No, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't smell too bad at least. It just it looks terrible. And everything's taken apart. It's the weirdest fucking thing. Yeah, I don't know. it looks okay. I don't I still, still don't get the S10. That looks ridiculous. It's so fucking bizarre. What's holding it on? I, wonder how... I think it's only attached right in the middle. I ended up never fucking with it because I'm, I'm just going to use a painted bumper anyway. So I thought, eh, <laughs> whatever, I'm fuck it. Bit of scrap metal on the yeah, it's about but, all it's uh, worth. It yeah. looks like they just bolted it underneath. Yeah, it's not like at first I'm like, oh, do they do some kind of weird hackery in there? But it doesn't really look like it. I mean, it's just everything's taken apart. It's the fucking bizarre thing. I don't know. Uh, but the car itself, the only real rust I can find on it is on the inside of the trunk lid. Which is normal on J bodies. Yeah. Well, I don't understand why someone thought this would look this looked acceptable either. To paint it silver? Yeah, it's revolting. It's dumb. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna just repaint it black since it's all loose now. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's already taken apart. Yeah. yeah see the, the wiring looms there. <laughs> oh good. <laughs> well, at least the lights came with it. <laughs> this is the weirdest car. It is. But, not... but like the, like here where they're always fucking all gone, it's like way too fresh. That's I mean, there's like, I can't, it's like, it's the weirdest thing. And this top is perfect. Yeah, it had, when I originally the Carfax this, was pretty ugly. Yeah, it, it was. And when I, when I got this thing, I thought, you know, worst case scenario, it could be a parts car for me because the top is mint and you can unbolt them suckers. So I thought, oh, if I ever find one. With Did you ever try to actuate it yet? I, it, there, it runs. Now, I didn't unhook it and drop it because diesel snap in the cold weather and it was like negative 800,000 degrees. Yeah, I'm not even, I won't try it until it's in the garage. Then. Yeah, but it, but the motor runs and, 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 and like it seemed to put a little bit of bind on it when I put it to put the top down. So it's so, electric on this car. Yeah, well, I think, so I think they're hydraulic. But it's got an electric motor that runs the thing back there for it. Okay. I, I oh think it's boy, cool. that's gonna be a treasure to that, play with. That is how my that's how my Mustang was, and I'm pretty sure that's how these are too. It's solid. That's why I wanted it. Yeah, one well, night you open the doors and look at these suckers. They don't even hang. And there's no like look at the seam along the bottom, it's perfect. Yeah, well the car came from Texas, so is there a door card with it too? A door card. Yeah. Oh, the... it's back here. Oh, so it is it does have the piece, yeah. And I think it's a part because I think they were wiring these dumb things up. See, these are spring loaded, but they've got fucking turn signals on them or some shit. I think they were trying to get those hooked up. They're probably power to. Personally, I think they're a crime against humanity. And they are. <laughs> they do not match the car. A bad Celine Dion song. Idiot! You're an idiot! Wow, dude. Yeah, so. Alright, so. Wow.
because it doesn't take a lot of gas to run up. No. Into the throttle. <laughs> okay. Is it on in here? Yes. Let's have followed the plugs again. Or the compression's that shit. I doubt it, though. I really do. I mean, you could always put some MMO into that, too. What, just crank it up? Into the intake and just have it suck some through. Yeah, we're going to do that. Because at least it'll... Uh... Here, do me a favor. Work yeah. the uh, cranking. I'm going to do the dumping. Huh. The plugs are going to hate it, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Ready? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was on the throttle. Here, go ahead. Stop. You gonna start our second cool. Yeah. Now it's got MMO on there. It sounded a little better though, actually. Yeah, it's not now. Okay, we're on 10 now. All right. <sighs> that starter does not sound it's happy. It's got oil pressure like a motherfucker. Yeah, notice that. It says it's got like 80. Hit, the, hit it with the starting fluid a little bit. Because it actually was, uh, it popped the one time. That's what I don't get. Like, yeah, it popped once. Yeah, Ooh, see? That's right. what it was doing before. Yeah. It did something. Jack working? Okay. Well. It sounds good. Yeah, it runs real good, actually. Cool. Yeah, we can just get a way to keep gas up there. I wonder if when the smoke clears out, if we could use the M18 and maybe jar that pump to come loose. Possibly, yeah. If we could get that pump to work. Okay, guys, day two. Here's the Cavalier out of the garage. She is still an absolute wiring disaster, but I know what's going all on under here now. This is just, the harness has all been undressed. Somebody was trying to chase an electrical issue. Um, I found why they couldn't get this car to run. Ow, dang it. Poked my head. The throttle body. And I don't think it's throttle body. The uh, carburetor gasket, which this is technically a TBI carburetor, is blown out. So it's got a terrible vacuum leak. So it's very hard to start when it's cold. Because there's next to no cold enrichment with that vacuum leak. So I got it warmed up. I'm not going to drive it too much. I don't want to burn up the, uh, whatchamacallit. Come on. Oh, dear. Oh, now it doesn't want to run. What? Dang it. Why doesn't it want to run now? Dang it. Why won't it run now? car hates me. It's okay, 
Well, I'm not real fond of it yet either. Oh, now it's not spitting fuel. What the heck? Oh, I bet it's this stupid thing. Dang it. That thing is an oil pressure thingamabobber. Keeps the fuel system from working if the engine isn't producing oil pressure. But that's for the 84. Somebody's done some messing with on this car. And uh, they've... Uh, heck, I don't know what the hell they did to it. I don't even know where they were trying to do case of a little knowledge is dangerous. Uh, just sweet. All right. Ooh, a little spark there. None of y'all saw that. Didn't happen. on this thing is an electrical disaster you can see how i'm starting it <laughs> oh here's safety okay now there's no injector pulse what why is there no injector pulse ha what would have did i unplug something or did this unplug No, it's running. No, it's running. Hmm. Well, I had a fuel inductor pulse a bit ago. Now I don't. Weird. I wonder if there's something up with this ignition. Pop the fuse again. Ugh. Oh, let's see what's this. Not popped. Not popped. I thought I heard one snap earlier. Oh, yeah, I did. There we go. Well, that turned the gauges back on. That's cool. I guess. Okay, the gauge is gonna have a twenty. I don't even give it. I don't even give it to. Wait, is that ten? Oh my goodness! No, that's a thirty. That's even worse. Let's see, that's a five. That's the blown ten. How convenient! There's just junk all over the floor. That's a twenty-five. I'm gonna go adjust the twenty-five. Wait, no, that's higher. Ten, thirty, 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 thirty. Lots of thirties. Eh, whatever. It just runs the gauges. Gonna run just five back in, call it good. Okay. And that one's not blown. Ah, oh. not blown. Not blown. Not blown. Not blown. Basically, none of these are blown, so. Weird. Where did my fuel pulse go? Where did my fuel pulse go? Huh. Very odd. I'm getting no pulse from it now. Only spitting half the time, huh? Where's the injector stuck or sticking? Um, well, ah, oh, this is heavy enough. I'll just beat on it with this. I bet the injector is sticky. Dang it. 
form. this again. I'm just gonna stick that there and forget that exists because that's pretty freaking unsafe. I'll leave that here so I can beat on stuff. See if this heap of junk moves on its own. doesn't work. Hey, hey, it shifted. Nice. Oh, this is terrifying. Look at that wheel. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, oh. Look at it. Wobble, wobble. <laughs> the brakes are good, though. Yeah, cool, it drives. Not well, but it drives. It needs a lot of work. Well, there you go, I guess it runs. I'm not gonna do much with it right now. I got other stuff coming, but I got it tomorrow or less run. I gotta get some parts coming. Wow. All right, guys, this car is absolutely horrifying. I don't know what I've gotten myself into with this thing. Look at that. It's got some nice cluster and shit, but oh, man, what a, what, a, what an absolute train wreck. Does this work? No, of course not. Wait. Oh, it does. Great, I can keep the water out of it. Oh, of course. It's... Come on. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, you made it. There you go. Oh, look at this mess. <laughs> you got it, Cavalier. No, I don't even know what I, I don't even know where to start with this one. Like, this thing is just so thoroughly torn apart. Like, what the heck? What the heck was even be, trying to be done with this thing? Like, I really don't understand. Numerous computers all laying around, all taken apart. My 84 computer, which I ended up needing my 84 chip to make this car run. Now, it probably won't run again, but let's just do it for a giggle. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it needs an injector too. Okay. Well, I've got all that stuff, so this thing can just sit and look pretty right now. Ain't no way I'm driving a convertible in the winter because I'm not crazy. But there you go. This thing is interesting to say the least. It's in pretty good shape, but not a good runner yet. You like that radio? Yeah, I like that invisible radio too. Not. Uh oh. That's not so good. Oops. I'm gonna get out of here. I don't smell real good. <coughs> oh, that's all cooling. Or it was. Looks more like pukey mud now. Sorry, car. How hot is it? Oh, I bet it's hot. That temperature change, of course, doesn't work. Fuck. God damn it. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oops. progress update got the bezels on and the grill in now it looks like an RS <clears throat> more or less is it also runs now too needs still needs help but it will run excuse me Idle's kind of high, but uh, needs an alignment, something fierce. Bring it back down a little bit, a little too fast for the neighborhood. It literally will idle at 30 miles an hour. <clears throat> gasket should be here later this week but it's a driver tachometer is just not hooked up either everything else seems to be working it's even blowing heat now
got me some proper mirrors. Okay, see my foot's totally off the gas. Still off the gas. See? We're just on Chris, literally. Not literally, but you get it. There you go, guys. That little convertible that nobody wanted to touch with a 10-foot pole. It's actually a good driver. I'm enjoying it. It's a good runner, too. At least uh, the engine swap was a good engine. So, sweet.